Hello there, everyone. It's Edward here. Um, before we start, let me tell you all about like what we are going to do here and what's the purpose of this channel, this video, and all. Well, the thing is, um, it's like two years that I'm living in Japan. Moved to Japan, living in Tokyo now. Started studying Japanese here, and I was like, um, why not try to get to know more Japanese? through the native media, you know, like Japanese games and all. Well, I got my Japanese language proficiency level of N2, which is like the fourth level out of five. And apart from that, uh, we're gonna use this channel as a way to record and keep these type of retro games and like uh, the memories that they brought to, with us, uh, with them for us and all, and a way to preserve them. For example, this game here called Ray or Zero, called Project Zero in the Europe, Fatal Frame in the US, um, is one of the hidden gems in horror game industry and all. And the thing is, Everything about this game is different in the Japanese version compared to the American or Euro European version of the game. Why? The first thing is um, the brightness, the filters, and everything that this game has tends to be way more darker than what it is in the other versions. Well, that's the first thing. The other could be, um, well, the vo voice acting, of course. I believe the Western version of the game doesn't have any um, Japanese dub or voiceover, which tends to be really bitter, in my opinion, at least. It has this feeling into it, you know, like the guy who's voice acting with these characters or girls, voice acting the girls' characters here, they kind of know what's going on here, and they have this type of connection with these characters, in my opinion. The other thing could be, uh, we can use this channel as a way like to relieve that memories of old Japanese games, like, you know, the best games, the best era. It's new games just like all about money and all, but these games, it's all about the experience. So yeah, um, well, for you to get to hear all the stuff that, that are going down here, so... I'm going to be quiet during the cutscenes, going to be quiet um, during the conversations and all. And after like the, you, you see the whole thing, I'm going to like explain it to you, what's going on here. Well, I'm not an expert in Japanese, of course, but before recording these videos, I have uh, played this game, like the, any game that I'm going to record. I always finish them once, try to translate whatever I don't understand, and try to, let's say, get to know the reading of those kanjis, like Chinese characters that I have no idea about. So I have this like sheer idea of what's going on here. And after the cutscene, I'll try to explain like what's going on, you know? And right, as I said, like, I don't know why, but the American version of the game is really dark really brighter actually right yeah the japanese version is darker and it's like you gotta rely on that flashlight that you have so like gotta keep it dear you know <laughs> and right apart from that like well I'm, I'm recording this video in obs on mac uh so I just set up everything like during the HDMI connector and everything. And what I did was, well, this game is like really dark because like if you use HDMI, like, well, what I read about them is like, um, these displays are way different than the um, like old TVs and all. So what I did was I used some reference pictures of the time that the game was released. Like I, I moved to the um certain location that is displayed on the, like that those times and all like the trailers or whatever and 
let's say, edited the filters and everything until I got that, at least to my eyes, um, the same looking filter that was used on the times and all. So it's it it, it is close to what it what was intended to be. You see. So right, yeah, enough talking, I guess. And let's get started. So I'll turn on the volume. So right, as I said, I've finished this game once before. So what we are going to do is we are not going to play in the normal difficulty of the game. So this is the same thing with like all nearly all PS2 games. They don't have like um, their hardest difficulty on like the first thing to finish them once. Like see if it's a Kuria data. It's like means we have finished the game. So I'm gonna use that and load the game. And we're gonna play in the hardest difficulty. So we're gonna like really save a lot, I think. And so this is the difficulty here, so I'm gonna change it to Nightmare, so look, there's only two. Normal and Nightmare, really Nightmare. I finished the first one, but Normal Custom. We have Special 1, Special 2, Special 3. Um, I have no idea which is which, but... Let's go to 1 mid, Special 2. And Game Start. So I keep quiet in here. いつの頃兄が死んでからは私のたった一人の家族。これが氷室で。人の行方を追っていました。有名な作家であり、兄の恩人でもある高峰純生さん。高峰さんは取材旅行中に姿を消してしまったのです。兄から高峰さんの足取りがつかめたという連絡があったとき。Alright, the first chapter, it's like prologue kind of thing. この地方に伝わる禁じられた儀式。高峰先生はそれを調べていたようだ。先生たちはここにいるのだろうか。So right. Um the whole thing is there's this guy here this this character. And the narrator is a girl, right? And it, uh, the girl is like uh, this guy's sister. She's talking about her, uh, her brother's teacher getting missing and like he, the teacher guy is a writer a famous writer so because he is missing um, this guy over here called Mafuya I believe got to know like some tracks of his teacher like being in this area 
this like you know, haunted house, let's say, <laughs> to search something. So he's here to search for that guy, for his teacher, to see where he is. See, like this game is really dark. The PS, the, the Japanese version, like comparing to the American version of the game, is really darker. Gives this like creepy feeling. Oh, there's only a shiny thing here. Let's see what it is. I see the film. So, right. So, like, okay. Well, you see, these parts are the saving points. These old cameras. We don't need them for now, at least. We will need them later. Anyway, here, like, some ghosts. And the thing is, um, the girl mentioned in the beginning of the game, but like, be. Oh, there's someone there. See. Where are you going, mate? There's something there. There he goes. Right, well, the thing is, the girl in the beginning said that um, these two, like the, her brother and her, uh, like, like herself, can see some stuff that are unbelievable. Probably ghosts. Oh, something else up there. Of you, right? Oh, I think I used to get pictures, get films, and say, yeah, let's use these ones. See, like, there are four types of films that we can use. Um, this blue one is the weakest time, and the green one, and the, the blue one can be recharged at the saving points, you know. Then we got this like green one, which is a bit stronger than the red one, it's the third level, and the fourth one, which is this yellow one, it is the strongest one, so you gotta keep those yellow ones for like boss fights or the, the, the fights that are really difficult to fight, you know, unless they can one shot you and all. Everything's quiet. Why? <laughs> no, start. Okay. Fuck you. <laughs> right, so we're gonna use this camera to kind of, let's say, give salvation to this <laughs> ghost, you know? Yes, it's okay. Let's triangle to look and circle to take a picture. So what we're going to do is you can use that to like focus on the ghosts and when you focus you have more damage on them, this is at 130. If you don't focus, you have like little there's to 50 there. Triple it was. Right, this is how you... Right. この
Right, like it's saying that like there's there was th this camera here can seal or like uh, ghosts, whatever spirits. Let's say not ghosts and spirits. And there was this one accident that like made him realize that the the powers of this camera was still not saying what what that accident or incident was. Well, the thing is, you said earlier that like this guy found a notebook, and that notebook like uh, showed him the memories and all of the of his teacher or the professor or whatever that came here. And in that flashback that he had, there was this one thing that he said, like, Shirio wa nokotteru. He's like, um, there are some documents left here, so you gotta find those documents. It's like, let's see what documents, well, why is he here? What is he looking for? He still have no idea. But, as I said, like, oh gosh, there's one thing going down there, okay, whatever. So, so, right, there's a reason that his teacher came here, right? His professor came here. And he's gonna find out that reason in the world, right? Well, let's see. The thing is, like, I'm not even acting dumb and all, like, the, to this, like, um, incidents that are happening here. I kind of forgot <laughs> the whole story myself. Whatever we can use them. Nothing there. Right, these stars are collapsed as well. So let's see. That one door was locked. And here there's nothing either. So I believe I should Right, it's like this door is open, like uh, I'm pretty much sure this door wasn't open. <laughs> Something came through, like went out maybe or something. Let's see. What can it be? Anything here? No. Barricaded. So right, two weeks back, uh, yeah, like the, the, those stuff in the prologue that we saw is the first mission starting, chapter starting, right? Um, those stuff that we saw like for two weeks ago. So, oh. stuff that we saw earlier was like uh, for two weeks ago so nothing like, no like contact nothing was done from the from her brother so she came here to visit what's going on and right we are here again and as you can see like there's some color <laughs> so 
the stuff that are in black and white are probably the memories or the stuff that, that um, happened in the past. And the stuff that are in color are the ones that are happening now. And right earlier you saw like the, there was this like uh, little girl that said like, Tasquere, help me. I remember now like there was, oh, no. Yeah, there, there's some contact between that girl and like the whole thing that is going on here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Alright, this is like a um, healing item. Right, so this is the first chapter now. Sorry, so we, we finished the prologue. Something happened to the guy, and we're here to find out what happened to him. So I'm gonna save real quick. And then, ah, uh, memory cards. Hold on. Okay. Right, yeah, oh, it's in red, yeah, it's probably it's a nightmare difficulty. And the thing that I noticed was, uh, well, in the normal version of the game, when there's like a ghost or something, or a spirit or anything, um, you get like this um, highlight, like blinking out there. For example, if there's like enemies, you, could, you would get like red. Or if there's like point of interest, you would get like blue. But now it showed me nothing. Which is scary now, because <laughs> that one highlight just helps you a lot in the game. I think, like, maybe, maybe it changes a bit. Like, uh, like the, the, what do you call it? The BGM or, like, um, the sound effects and all. They just change when, like, there is a ghost or something here. So maybe that would help us to know, like, there's some ghost or something here, right? Okay. Stay away. Yeah, that, that, that's creepy. <laughs> right. What was that? Nawaga Fuel. Nawaga Yeah, like. Lots of. Um, oh, something else. Ropes. Right, there's a note. Yeah, it's like, um, there's one more rope. <laughs> ropes. <laughs> right. Let's see. Watch ropes. What, what's going on here? And yeah, right. This is not the original outfit that we were using, right? Like, special two outfit. It's cool. <laughs> I like it. Alright, the camera. Alright, brother. Creepy, come on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like, um, got my brother's camera and his note. Notebook or something. There's probably some note or something left. Alright. Uh, ah, it's like for her, for, for their mother. Right, this camera is for their mother and, like, um, her, br her brother had it. So now it's in her hands. There's a note, a notebook, right? But how could you write, like, in this environment? Why, why would you write in this environment? What's going on? Like, it's creepy just sitting down here and, like, taking out your pen and writing something. <laughs> Makes it more, like, creepy, you know? Like, no. I cannot do it, whatever. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, right, yeah, something. So, right. Um, what is this like? Himurate, like hi, Himuro, I believe. Yeah, Himurote. Right. So this, this whole mansion, kind of thing, is uh, it belongs to the 
Himuro fa family or like Himuro clan and the stuff that are going on here. So it's like he has some stuff about them, he knows some stuff about them and like wrote down in this um, note that he has. Yeah, this is like, um, so like the, the, this clan and all, like they have lots of lands and all, and yeah, like they, they, they had the most lands probably in this area. And they had like some relations to the religion and some um, spiritual incidents happened here, right. Right, and he, he says that he didn't find many stuff about like um, the spiritual things and ha stuff that happened here. Probably like they got like their own religion kind of thing. Not even religion, like let's say some type of ceremonial things that they have. Is like in the time of their last um, leader of the clan, the whole clan like got wiped out of the earth. <laughs> like most of them died or something. All right, and the others like that that lived here, like that the, were not in the family, like some of them just like were lost or missing or something, and incidents happened to to them like. The ones that are, were like related even to this family. Alright, let's see. Alright, most of them like um, getting lost could be the reason that there are not much like um, information or documents left about the incidents that are happening here. Right, it's like, since I came here in this house, like, I got this weird feeling, and... <laughs> weird. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what's going on here, so I'm leaving this um, memo or like it's a note or something. So like, believe me, mate, like leaving these notes and stuff to, makes it creepier. <laughs> so like, I probably shouldn't have time. <laughs> right. So he just he's just saying like, I want to find my professor and like get the hell out of here. Oh no, what was that? Let's see. <laughs> that's, that's creepy. I still barricade it. Nothing in this. I can see myself on it. Some ropes. Okay. And the, the funny part of this, like these um, old games and like their architecture, is that when you open these doors, is the time that the games are like loading you know so sometimes like open doors could be like a little bit slower that's like um oh it's just under some pressure to load the game oh no somebody going up oh, no i don't see a snake man okay can you guys oh right it's like the guy looks like my brother is that your brother's spirit now oh okay Run away now, so let's go. Okay. I still locked. So we need a key. Oh, 
But there was one. Something shiny out there. Yeah, it's over here. Another. Right up. No! Wait a second! I have to be catching. I cannot go down. Yeah. yeah. I forgot. The stairs would collapse. So we're going this way. Oh, the guy went there. Before before checking there, it was like something shiny right there that's here. Let's see what it is. Right, another healing item. Anything else? Don't think so. Right. We can check it. Anything here? All right, yeah. Sure. Press circle. <laughs> you see how dark it is? Stay away. You're creepy! Don't point at me. You, the door. No, the door curtain, whatever. What is this? Yeah, I like it. I should take a picture of this. Okay, camera. Oh, yeah, this is camera can, like, uh. Reveal some hidden stuff as well. Oh, you see it's glowing blue. There's probably some things there. Right, there was a door! Then open the door. I could have checked it! I didn't need that camera! <laughs> Yeah, same thing that like uh, my, I could see on the camera, right? So let's see. What is the <gasps> It's blue orb. <gasps> there is no key. Where is the key? That's what he's saying. Okay. Any door? Anything? Nothing special. No, it's not. Let's go to the other side. Yes, shot. Okay. Something's holding it. Another healing item. Yeah, and the thing is, like, on my first playthrough, I made a stupid mistake, and that was, like, um, using all my um, healing items because I didn't know, like, there was this one item that if you die, will, like, restore your health. Oh, there was this door here. So, right in the second playthrough, especially on Nightmare, I'm not gonna like use my healing items because later on you're gonna need them. You're gonna need them. At least I still have my stones because I didn't know <laughs> the usage of stones. <laughs> oh! Like lots of creepy stuff about the um, director of this game as well. They say like he can see ghosts and stuff. Like he, 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 like he has like the same vision like as his camera has sometimes. It's creepy. <laughs> Sounds like pl prank. <laughs> Fucking hell. Let me take a picture of you. No! Okay. 
That's why you shouldn't touch those. Yeah. So these ones like um, restore a portion of your he um, health, and these ones fully let's see replenish your health. And this one, this is like mirror stone, I think, is the one uh, that if you die will like uh, replenish your, your your full health. You know. So and you can carry only one of these moment tape recorder and watch tape. Kuga Kokonoka Jushipun Kono Yashki no Kotoa Chizuni Mono Teoraza Fumoto no Murano Jumin Nikite Yoyakubasho Tsukitomeru Kotoga Dekita Kita Hanashidewa Kono Himuro Te niwa mo sujunen niwa tate stoga sunde inaito yu. Right, so it was like after some time and like trying like trying so hard to get into this uh let's say Yashiki or like the this mansion or something, this land. Um he finally got like the permission and people told him like um it's more than decades, like that nobody's living here, and it's not a good idea to visit there. But it was stupid enough to come, probably died. All right, let's see. <laughs> okay. No, no, I could have. I got him. No, yeah, got his hand. Something there. Oh no! <laughs> Stay away, you bastard! I cannot no scope here. <laughs> Ooh, level up the camera. How will help? Alright, so this can power up your camera at the points that you get. Oh, right tape number two. So it's like. It has something to do with the rest of the story, like the guy coming here. Remember in the first day, the second day. Kugatsu kokonoka, 21:40pm. Yoru no yama o aruku no wa kiken na tame, kono yashiki ni tomari konde hikizuki shuzai suru koto ni natta. 
いくつかの部屋を見て回ったが内部は思ったよりも完全な形で残っているようだ先ほど玄関近くの廊下で白い女性の影のようなものを見かけたこの手のネタは個人の記事のネタとして別に取材を続けることにする Right, the guy said that like, why, why were you here? Like,、uh, he said that like, because it's、uh, dangerous to go out and, at night, like around these areas.、Uh, that's what the people said.、Um, he stayed at an inn, like a, something that, that was like close to this area. And he said that like, most of the things, that, the, like the houses and stuff that were here, remained untacked. And like,、um, they were not even like, collapsed or anything. Like, they, they were. In perfect position for living. And he said that at night he saw something that looked like a shadow or something of,、uh, like, of a lady in white. <laughs> right? White kimono or something. Like Japanese clothing. Like silhouette, maybe. Or with a shadow. Yeah, like. Yeah, maybe, maybe silhouette is better, right? S- s- the s- silhouette of. Oh, there was something shiny there. Silhouette of a lady dressed in white. I can feel something. It's just saying. Okay, first, let's, let's check this one. What's this? Another healing item! y e a h Let's go! I feel something. I feel something. Alright, yeah. Like、this sound of it. Ah,、uh, I remember this one. This is in the main hall. Something there、It、says, Okay, let's go then. Let's go there. You guys are like, I value. Wait a second. I know. You just automatically go close this. <laughs> Fucking hell. That freaked me <laughs> out. Right. Well, to be honest, I'm the type of person who values story and like atmosphere and everything over gameplay. No. No. Leave me alone. That was creepy. Okay, now that we have like 10 damage, we'll probably it'll just freeze over for some time. And now we can get a good look. <sighs> okay, focus, and then before vanishing, just take a picture. Okay, there you go. Better. Stay away from me. I'm a delicate lady. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm recording this in like four,、uh, the, the, uh, what you call it, the ratio scale, and like four by three rather than 16 by nine because I want it to look like a real PS2 game, you know, <laughs> rather than widescreen. Like, this is, this is the real scale in, in these games, so I just don't like the widescreen thing. Like, it's just like, it's just, it just looks stretched. And out of place. Just look at this, everything's natural. Just look at the lighting, everything. It's like you gotta rely on your.、Um, what do you call it? What would you call it? I forgot. The flashlight that you have, right? <laughs> the flashlight that you have over like just everything being lined up. So, this type of limited vision that you have here. Helps you, like, like, helps the whole atmosphere of being creepy. This is why I like, like, the Japanese version over the Western version of the game. Because it just adds up to the creepiness. So let's see, yeah, there was this, like, lion head, lion? Dog head or something? Oh, it just opened up. Okay. Which 
街の中で何か光いやさっそのそのライト<笑> Rain like small red mirror so I have it Oh, right, yeah, like, it looks like that one, like, a place. Was that a place for the mirror? Do you even need that? Like, I don't know. Let's go on and place it there. See what happens. Believe me, brother, that's creepy. Don't do it. Fucking hell. Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> We might did a good job actually with like、uh, the whole filter and all that I put in the, on this to look like the same thing that that was supposed to look like, you know? Because. I was like browsing through YouTube for like videos of this、um, particular game, and they were all like really, how can I say it, like bright. You could see everything. And I didn't feel creepy that much, but now it's just like creeps up the shit out of me. <laughs> see what's going on. How's the cut that guy? The ropes. Now I got like ropes. The key. Stop it, me. Come on, we can die. But I'm too good. Oh. oh. Yeah, when it glows in red like that, it's、uh, the time that you can like. Stun them like this to see. Maybe you can run away. Then, not the guy who runs away. The girl who fights. I just, I just didn't want to risk it, you know? To charge it up because l i k e was so close. So I just like, I don't know, took lots of big trips there. I shouldn't do it normally. Let's, let's get a. She could have dashed the Korea. I was like,、uh, help me go away out of this mansion. This land. Wait, we got those like,、um, what are they called again? Spirit Stone? Right, yeah, Spirit Stone. And like, those ones,、um, you can use them as a way to just like mount something over your、um, camera and see. Nothing happening. Okay, God. Nice. So you, you, can, you can use those abilities that, that you mount over your camera with these stones, you know? Like, it took me some time to find out, but like, you, you just, when you're like, holding it like this, like, like zooming in, you can press L1, I believe, right? L1 to activate it. And if you activate it once, you lose one split stone. But they, they, they come in handy, you know, for bus flights and all. Okay, so we have the key. Let's see. Here we have the key now. Let's open it. Actually, Japan is kind of like. I don't know, it's a, it's a weird place to be honest. Like, I love it. At the same time, sometimes it creeps me over, you know? Like, let's see this. 
I was actually like right now I'm studying at a Japanese university. I'm studying like um, game design because someday I want to make my games. You know? That's my dream, whatever. Um, and there was this girl, like my cra classmate, and she told me that she's see she's seen ghosts before. It's like what? She was like, I she she told me that she believes like it was a ghost, and like she was um, cycling through a road that was like really narrow, and there were like no roads connected to it. You, know, you see, and she saw an old man like there, and she was like she didn't have time to break, so. She quickly like looked on her back, see if there's a car or something coming, and by the time that she looked uh, on her front, there was no one there. It's like, it's like I believe it was a ghost. That's creepy. Whatever. Okay. Right. Well, we got another tape. That was a red tape. Let's listen to this because after this, finished it. I'll finish it here for the part one, I believe. ね。9月10日10時20分。ダンスの引き出しから見つけた写真に気になるものが写っている。小形市のメモにあったここに住んでいたという民族学者の子供たちだろうか。相当古い写真で子供たちがおにごっこをしているものだ。写真の隅に 白い着物を着た幼い少女がうっすらと映り込んでいる。その少女はこちらを指さし、その目は何かを訴えているように思える。That's <laughs> creepy. Yeah, like um, th there is another case, perhaps because you, you see, like um, these tapes are varied by color, right? It's like the white ones, it's the red ones. So probably the red one is like another case. It seems like another case. So. But there's this lady talking, she's saying like um, she found this one um, picture of this place and there's this, this pic in this picture like there are the like, kids of this family like this uh, Himura family I believe or Ogata family, well, uh, from the Himura family right and these kids are playing tag and this picture like there's a picture of these place, kids playing tag and this picture like there's on the back of this um, picture there is a picture of a silhouette again of a, of a lady in white which is pointing in the direction of the camera so there is another case going on with this white lady not white lady lady in the white <laughs> right so I guess I'll end it here, right, it's like the, f the first part of this um, Fatal Frame Ray, or Zero, in Japanese. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, like, yeah, just leave in the comments, like, if you want any other game for me to start. But first, we're gonna finish this thing, for sure. This was the first part of it. I'll soon come up with the second part and, like, just upload it over. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and see you soon another video. <laughs> Bye.